Isn't he just so cute that you wanna? Whoops. <laughs> Cut keeper here, kitties. And speaking of kitties, tonight's sickening saga should be subtitled A Tale from the Crib. Yes, dear fans, I've got a real nursery crime for you this time. It's all about the humble beginnings of my favorite horror hero. So call the babysitter and break out the bath bags as I narrate a nauseating novella with a very special place in my heart. I affectionately call this one Lower Birth. <laughs> And girls, step right up and be prepared to gasp, to swoon, to feast your disbelieving eyes on the most astounding array of freaks and oddities ever gathered together under one tent. See the piteous products of God's twisted sense of humor. View with your very eyes the alarming consequences of nature's most heinous miscalculations. Witness, if you dare, the results of the most unnatural inbreeding. Man or monster, human or horror, you be the judge and jury. See Fanny the fat lady, over 450 pounds of bovine beauty. Pay a visit to the Littles, a family so small they live in a shoebox. Witness the stupefying skull face, a living human skeleton. And finally, our star attraction, the amazing Enoch. A display so bizarre, you have to see it with your very self-same eyes to believe it. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up right this way. A one thin dime, a tenth part of a dollar, you may avail yourself of this fantastic exhibit. Right this way, sir, watch your step. No rush, there'll be plenty of room for all. And we shall have repeated showings until every man, woman, and child can avail themselves of this interesting and educational exhibit. Step lively, sir, that's the idea. Feely's fantastic fair way of freak. Showtime now beginning. Enough! And now, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think you're doing? Hey! You're a naughty boy! You hear me? Naughty! Come on, get up! Come on! Come on! Introducing Fanny the Fat Lady! <laughs> Stay there, yeah? Ladies and gentlemen, the Littles. How'd you get out of there? Huh? Tell me. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the star attraction at Feely's fantastic fairway of freaks. The most alarming and unusual oddity ever to be put on display anywhere, anytime, any place. No, no more. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, look upon Enoch, the two-faced man. How many times, Sickles? How many times do I have to tell you to get him in his cage before showtime? Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Feely. I don't know how he gets out. Uh, it won't happen again. Of that, you may be sure, Mr. Sickles, because the next time it does happen, then I shall be happy to discuss with you the retirement of your most amazing Enoch. Now, oh, wait a minute, Mr. Feely. Without me and Enoch, you're no different than any other two-bit sideshow. He's the only thing you got that's different. 
Enoch is special. Enoch is dying. Did you really think you could bribe the company doctor to keep it from me? Well, apparently your freak isn't the only one with two faces, is he? No sickles. Your meal ticket's godforsaken life is winding toward a merciful end. So please don't tell me how much I need you. We'll play it out as long as it takes, a month, a week. But as long as you own him, then I own you. And we do things my way. Understand, Mr. Sickles? Her, uh, lower berth. Who are you? How'd you get in here? The door, Mr. Sickles. Call me unconventional. <laughs> How about I call a policeman? Oh, I don't think you want to do that. Oh, no, why not? Because, Mr. Sickles, I'm your salvation. That's why. Dr. Zachary Kling, at your service. Please. Please. Don't let me interrupt your supper. <clears throat> At your service, you say. What kind of service may that be? Well, let's not be coy, Mr. Sickles. I overheard your, shall we say, altercation with the owner. It seems your days here may be numbered. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Well, what of it? Well, it just so happens I've recently made an acquisition. An acquisition from which we both might benefit. You take my meaning. What kind of an acquisition? <laughs> Are you a card player, Mr. Sickles? Now and again. Myself, I must confess to a certain, shall we say, jealousy for games of chance. I was playing a gentleman in St. Louis recently. As it happens, a gentleman of distinction on two counts. One, he was an archaeologist by trade, and secondly, he couldn't play poker for shit. <laughs> when it became clear that this gentleman was going to owe me quite a large sum of money, not strictly in his possession, it became imminently clear that something of equal worth would have to be bartered as collateral. Name's Mirana, Mr. Sickles. Though uh, I prefer Myrna, don't you? <laughs> Egyptian slave girl, it was explained to me. Buried alive at 16 for repelling the Pharaoh's advances. Rather a high price for playing hard to get, wouldn't you say? <laughs> never able to love. Never able to bear children. Never able to have a normal life. It's sad, really. She's yours for a 60-40 split. Do we have a deal or not? What's your catch? I'm afraid I don't follow you. It's a business of playing people for suckers. Don't play me for one. What do you need me for? Why don't you go straight to Feely? Mr. Sickles, as I said, I'm a gambling man. I play to win, and winners tend to make enemies, if you take my meaning. In all candor, I need to keep a low profile for a while. The less official my connection with this side shows, the better. What about the jewels? Oh, completely worthless, Mr. Sickles, a mere prop. <laughs> wow. Look, consider yourself my agent, if you like. I 
think a 40% commission is more than equitable. I mean, after all, considering your present situation... <laughs> Good. <laughs> Let's drink to it, shall we? No mind if I do. Over here now. Just what do you think you're doing, young lady? Now you stay away from that door. <laughs> Enoch, naughty boy. Naughty. What's that you got there? Huh? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Well, I'll be good to hell. You're carrying a torch, fat old bag of bones, aren't you? It's a family you want, is it? Hmm? Is that it? A normal life. <laughs> a normal life! A family! <laughs> Pray 
priceless Egyptian mummy stolen. Look at that. Look at that. End of the show. One should never argue with Lady Luck. Now should one. <laughs> we need to talk, Doctor. Just a few more hands, Mr. Sickles. Now. Deal me out, gentlemen. Here. Over there. Start explaining, Doctor. Of course, you're upset. You have every right to be upset. You didn't win that mummy in any card game. You stole it off a boat in New Orleans. What for? A necklace? Well, I hardly have much use for a 4,000-year-old dead woman now, do I? Well, why didn't you just take the damn thing? Oh, now, look, you, you don't understand. There's a curse. You must be kidding. No, it's true. Whoever attempts to take that necklace will be rendered. Rendered what? You know. Unable to procreate, if you take my meaning. You mean whoever takes the family jewels loses theirs? Yes, thanks. I'll take my chances. No, no, no. Mr. Sickles! You're not listening to me. I hired a man to take that necklace off. That night I found him. He was castrated. Well, too bad your father wasn't. If you take my meaning, Mr. Sickles! God, Sickles. Enoch, my boy. Seems like you've gotten out of your cage again, doesn't it? And you've been a very naughty boy, haven't you? Yes. Poor Dr. Clay. You make a very lovely couple, did I tell you that? Give me this. Poor right. Lordy. Get me over, dear. Yeah. Ah, come on, Dave. Let go of it. You do play hard to get, don't you? Fantastic fairway of freaks is proud to present a most unusual and alarming oddity. The amazing Nina, the two-faced man.
escape. He's gone. It cheated us. There's nothing there but the frog. Give me, give me this. Frog. Uh, rather let me direct your attention to our star attraction. Uh, from far off Egypt she comes, uh, from the Valley of the Kings. Her tomb carved deep in the cliffs that overlook the ancient river Nile. Inside that very tomb, hieroglyphics tell a tragic tale. Once young and beautiful, she spurned Pharaoh's advances and was condemned to death. Wrapped in ceremonial windings, she was buried alive and placed in this very self-same sarcophagus, which has been her home for the last 4,000 years. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I command you to look upon Myrna, the Egyptian mummy. Feely, the owner. I'm Sheriff Hicks. Well, if it's about the permit, I have one, I assure you. No, sir, it's not about any permit. Do you mind if I sit? <laughs> Mr. Feely, you may not remember me, but we met when you came through here with your sideshow last year. You had some unpleasantness at the time. Yes, I never did recover my exhibits. Well, sir. That's kind of why I'm here. There's something I think you ought to see. When the local boy was up and exploring, and he came across this cave here. When he saw what was inside, he came and got us. me go all to pieces. <laughs> I was a cute little terror type, though, wasn't I? As for Enoch and Myrna, I guess you figured out by now where I get my good looks. Old Two-Face was my daddy, and the mummy was my mommy. <laughs> long enough to see me become a star. We never even got a chance to play hide-and-go-shriek together. 